Thin and light computers have been around for years, but for the most part, you're stuck with a smaller screen with them, maybe a 12, 13, or possibly a 14 inch display. But this new Samsung laptop, the Notebook 9, is a thin and light computer. It weighs less than a MacBook Air, but it's got a big 15 inch display. When most 15 inch computers, like a MacBook Pro, weigh four and a half pounds or more, it's pretty rare to see one that's as portable as a 13 inch computer. There are a bunch of reasons why you want a larger screen. It's easier to look at, it's easier to multitask with, it's easier to work on, just generally more pleasant to use. You also get room for a bigger keyboard and trackpad, which is always more comfortable and welcome, and you get a bunch of ports that you might not see on a smaller size computer. The Notebook 9 screen is 15 inches in size and it's a 1080p resolution, which isn't as high as others that you can get right now, but still sharp enough for most purposes. It has a really thin border around the screen, which makes it look even bigger than it actually is. Uh, what's really unique here though is that it lacks a touch screen, which a lot of Windows 10 computers offer now. Uh, frankly, I really didn't miss it much during my testing. The keyboard on the Notebook 9 is roomy and responsive, but it lacks backlighting, which is kind of a sin at this price point. It's also a bit spongier and not as clicky as other laptops you can get. But fortunately, the trackpad is huge and really smooth and works great for multi-touch gestures. The Notebook 9 has a bunch of useful ports too, like two full-size USB ports, USB-C port, headphone jack, and a full-size HDMI port. Less useful is this mini port for an ethernet adapter and the micro SD card slot, which I wish was just a full-size SD slot. And while you can use this USB-C port to charge your phone, you can't charge a laptop with that, so you still need a proprietary brick to plug into a special power port. Performance on the Notebook 9 is good for a bunch of things, thanks to the Core i7 processor and 8GB of RAM. Even Chrome with dozens of tabs running isn't enough to bog the system down. Battery life, on the other hand, is merely acceptable. Samsung says you can get up to 12 hours of battery life with it, but in real world use, I get closer to six or seven. Not everything is great with the Notebook 9. The design is a bit boring looking. It looks a lot like a MacBook Air from six years ago. And the build quality isn't quite as good as other computers. The display hinge is really loose and it feels a bit hollow in your hands. Now the other downside here is that while it's great to have a big screen and keyboard, a 15 inch computer isn't always great for travel because it doesn't fit on a tray table and is a little bit clumsier to use on your lap. But what the Notebook 9 does do is change your perception of what you can get from a thin and light computer. No longer are you stuck with a small screen. It's not the best computer in any metric, but has a good value for its price and it does most tasks really well without any major compromises because of its design. If you've been craving a lighter computer but are tired of squinting at smaller screens, the Notebook 9 is definitely worth a look. Check, check. This is Dan from The Verge talking about laptops, which is not as sharp as some of... <clears throat> yeah, let's try that again. So you still need to plug into a power brick with the proprietary... I'm just getting lost in myself.